sais. Euh, la rivière n'est pas encore André Guimet and Rodrigue Trepanier have been together for more than four decades. Half an hour from the American border, the couple love to take out their motorcycle and go for a ride, until one trip was cut short. Nice Sunday with uh, lots of sun, nice temperature. <laughs> and uh, we said, we go in the United States. Take a passport and everything. And when I go to the border, she said no. In 1982, when Guimet was 22 years old, he was caught stealing a blender, a mixer, and some towels from a Zeller's store. He was charged with theft over $200. I do a mistake. I pay for that now. I can't go anywhere except in Canada. Guimet had to pay a $300 fine or spend 45 days in prison. He paid the fine, but 41 years later, he still has a record. To get a pardon, officially called a record suspension, you need to go through the Parole Board of Canada. Once granted, your record becomes private, removed from the Canadian Police Database. A complex process, people often turn to help via private sites or non-profits like the John Howard Society. A lot of people seek this because they want to be able to reintegrate back into society. Now that means that they want to be able to work. They want to be able to get a place of their own. They make you feel like you're a criminal. Okay? It's, that's, how the, that's the feeling that you have. When you Last year, Trepanier decided he wanted to get Guimet a pardon. Searching on Google, they stumbled on the company Canada Pardon Services. You thought it was an, uh, an official website? Yes, th that was an official website and they had some relation with the uh, government. It may look like a government site, but it's not. It's a private company. It offers to do all the steps required to get a pardon guaranteed. There is a place where you can apply, okay, so that's what I have done. I have applied. And uh, as soon as I clicked the enter, okay, the phone rang. Almost immediately, the conversation turned to money. To get a pardon, the couple paid Canada Pardon Services $1,096, then paid $167 for fingerprints. If you do the process on your own, the cost is just over $200. I was feeling confident, okay, to go with these guys until uh, the other things came up. Trepanier says after that first call, he felt like the company was ghosting him. In the end, he had to call them. What followed was a confusing email exchange that left the couple with more questions than answers and a feeling they were being ripped off. Radio Canada's consumer affairs show La Facture called the company posing as clients. Donc, je peux demander pardon? Despite being presented with three cases that weren't eligible for pardons, company employees claimed they were. The owner, Hisham Shridi, didn't respond to our calls. He told La Facture that his company would only take on people who are eligible, and he blames the court system for delays in the process. Canada Pardon Services has already caught the attention of Quebec's Consumer Protection Office, which has received hundreds of complaints about the company in the past few years. In 2021, the company and its owner were fined almost $20,000 for not providing a written contract and not disclosing all the information required to get a pardon. Ethically, it's not correct. A lot of our clients are in this position and they are, are, they are already very vulnerable. So I definitely think that um, in one way, shape or form, they are taking advantage of these individuals. Guimet thinks so too. I said, me, I go practically in jail for $300. And her, his company, he stole me $1,200 and he's, he's, he's do nothing with that. So you feel like a victim almost? Yes, yes. These services would not even exist if we had a process that was a, a, a process where convictions expire. Independent Senator Kim Pate has proposed a bill that would make pardons automatic and free. If the record is more than 20 years old, Really? Is it relevant to whether someone poses a risk to public safety now? I would argue no.
Guimet and Trepanier have decided to apply for the pardon themselves with the hopes a trip to the United States is possible soon.